Hey everybody, I'm Zilla Bledz and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Let's go for another ride in Wyoming. I've got some live cattle, which is the new delivery available from once the uh, Wyoming State of Wyoming DLC was released. So we just have to go find this now. Get my earphones on here so we get some power. And let's get this moving. I think we pick up the cattle right where we are. Right here now. Let me just make some adjustments. Somewhere in here is our cattle. Here we go. We ba we're backing up now to our live cattle. This is the new trailer, I think, that's available since the Wyoming DLC has come out. I think we can get this at an angle. It's pretty generous, right? There we go. All right. So let's take a look-see here. Oh, very cool. I don't... Is there cattle in it? There's only one. I can only see one cattle in there. One cow, maybe. There must be more, right? We're just not seeing them. Maybe there's some up on the second deck. Yeah, what a cool looking trailer though, huh? Anyway, let's get this going. We have a lot of stuff to do for today. We are going to go from Casper up to Sheridan. Now, I've been looking at that achievement for the delivery of live, cat live cattle, and I think the best I've been able to understand is that you have to start it in either Riverton or Sheridan, pick up at Bushnell, and then deliver it to what I saw was called their company areas, but I'm not sure what that means. So, if you know, let me know. But I think what it means is we have to go to Bushnell in Riverton or Sheridan, where we're going now, and then be able to pick up something and deliver it to another Bushnell location? I'm confused. I don't understand. But I'm sure we'll figure it out by screwing it up a few times. But we'll keep going. Now, a couple quick things here. We are going to take a detour this time. So if we look here on the map, the straightest route from here to Sheridan is, is right up here on this route. What is it? Route 87. But uh, we have not been over here to check out this route on the west. And it has two uh, question mark Vista points that would give us seven of the 10 Vista points. So the epi this episode, this guy's to take our live cattle. Instead of going straight to Sheridan, we're going to do the long way about and check out these two Vista points on the way. So that's our journey for the day. And uh, we'll start out here and, and get this all sorted out get back in the truck and get going looks like yeah I thought we had to go left here if we want to get there let's get the UPS truck out of the way good but he coming from the other side good good off we go now we don't want to hurt the cows and I do know for that live cattle delivery which again I don't think this qualifies as one of them but I do know for that live cattle delivery it has to be on time uh, no fines and as we're speeding 12 miles over the limit no fines no damage and stuff like that. They have to be perfect deliveries. But uh, so that would make them even harder. And there has to be 10 of them. So that seems like one of the hardest achievements in the Wyoming set of the five that we're getting here. So we've got two of the five so far. We have visit every city. And then what's the other one we got? We got two of them. The other three that we haven't got are the Vista points, the livestock one, and then the railhead ones that are part of, ah, oh, Light here. The railhead ones that are down in Cheyenne, which I think we'll go to next. So I think the goal really is going to be to check out these Vista points, take the livestock cattle up there, then see if we can get at least one livestock delivery on an episode, and then head down to Cheyenne and see if we can work on that last, the railhead one, where you take the railroad train parts and get those kind of three deliveries down at Cheyenne to get that qualified. Whoa kind of close there with that light post but we're good all right so we'll get going here see you out in the highway so we're gonna make a slight detour here as we're heading out of Casper I noticed that there is a garage on the left hand side and we just hit level 13 I think we can upgrade I want to say our chassis so let's go do that and let's also get the bison ornament for the the prize there for the delivery and let's change our paint job to the cruising Wyoming paint job thing too. So we're gonna go spend some money, shopping time. All righty, so here we are at the Peterbilt dealership and they can service our truck just fine. Let's do the service first here. What do we got? Oh, we got damage. Oh, right, I think we got the damage on that last episode when that that, tra that uh, car, Kamikaze dust. So we got that all fixed up. It didn't cost too much, insurance kicked in. Now let's go buy some stuff here. 
we want to definitely the first thing the most important thing here let's go inside and i think it's right here nope not there i'll figure this out then i'll be right back got it there we go 150 bucks that's a good deal for this so let's confirm our order and that one now we should have our bison here but we're not done yet let's keep going and, and i know you can do these one at a time let's go to paint jobs if we can get that bison one. Here it is. 26,000. Wow. That is a lot for a paint job. But I feel like we should do it, right? Let's see if we can change our colors here. Can we change the colors? All righty, we're done screwing around. There is our bison. Billy the bison staring right at Plushy, our Triceratops, that we still haven't officially named yet. So I feel like that's pretty cool. We got our cooler going pirate sticker we got the burgers there the chips this is just uh, we are just ready to go here and check out the outside now whoa how about that a little bit of a purple tint went with the white trailer we got the bison going on here i feel like that's pretty cool pretty excited about this so let's get going though we got places to go and, and things to be back. let's uh get moving around here so we'll get back out on the highway and then uh, I'll, we'll touch base as we get on the road. Lots of things to talk about. A new DLC. Surprise, surprise. So uh, let's get uh, busy moving here and then we'll see you in a little bit. So we're out on the highway here. We're behind a heavy load here. So the truck's going kind of slow. I'm not sure we're going to make the greatest time up here, but hopefully they'll turn off at some point. But yeah, so we also upgraded our chassis back there, which supposedly will help significantly with heavy loads, which is good because since we shifted at level 10 to this new day cab, I feel like we've been really struggling with the heavy loads. Uh, we've never been really good at them. I mean, it's always been the trucks always kind of really had to work to kind of pull something heavy. But this hopefully will help us a little bit as we get uh, into some heavy loads here now. So they're just not quite so painfully slow. I'm not sure if I noticed a difference already, but I don't think the cattle is all that super heavy here. Wow, this truck is going slow. Speed limit 70. It's going 45. Come on, truck. But speaking of what looks like a piece of construction equipment on this trailer in front of us a little bit off two trail, two trucks up, uh, new DLC, right? So Volvo special deliveries, heavy equipment kind of thing like that. It looks really cool. And I picked it up for both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator because they had this deal where it was five bucks each for, for each of them. But if you bought both of them at the same time in a bundle, you got 50% off. So it was literally 250 to add it to each of the two games, which that seems pretty cool. I love the DLCs that add a variety of deliveries. I just, I feel like that's really cool. I wish, however, and I wonder if it'll be coming, I wish there were an achievement with it so that, you know, if you got, if you delivered each one of them, you got a special achievement in the game or something like that. But I didn't see anything like that arise there. So um, maybe they'll, maybe they'll add that or maybe that's just like, no, that, that'll never happen. I'm not really sure. But still, pretty cool that the DLC came out. I, I wasn't expecting it all. So it's nice that they kind of, they threw that out there. I feel like that, that always happens. Like I'm never expecting new trucks, new stuff to come out. And then all of a sudden it's boom, it's here. You wait forever for the state and for the new region DLCs. And they, there's a lot of promotion behind those. But I feel like some of these other things just kind of pop out of nowhere. Like here's a new truck to drive. Here's a new DLC with special deliveries and stuff. It's, so that's pretty cool. Here's new roads. I know they're working on some new roads now in Iberia. They're going to add a couple of roads to it, which is cool. So it is kind of, I mean, it feels like it's an ever-changing game, which makes it fun because I think, you know, obviously if it stayed at the same states and the same regions and countries in Europe and stuff like that, it would get a little bit stale. But uh, they just uh, seem to really have kind of evolved the game over time into being something that's, you know, with the events and everything like that, it's continually changing, continually upgrading, continually rework. And they go back and they rework a lot of the terrain and the graphics in the earlier regions that came out, which is nice to see. You know, they redid a lot of Germany when they did the 1.40 update. So uh, yeah, kudos to SCS Software for all the work they put into uh, kind of keeping things fresh like that. Now, with that Volvo DLC, I don't know where you get them yet. It didn't seem that there were any available at Casper. I assume that it's going to be from select, like Vol is it Volvo dealerships or something like that? Or special companies or something where you can get them. And maybe if you know, you could Drop a comment and let me know here. Why are you going so slowly? Because um, I, I don't, I have no idea where you picked them up. But it didn't seem to be any in Casper. I mean, not in a hurry to do, but I'd like to do one somewhat soon. That'd be a cool little episode to do. But anyway, we'll uh, keep plugging along, driving through the countryside here. 
Looks like we've got a right turn up ahead and then just should be a little bit before we get to that first vista point. So we'll touch base as we get there. The cows seem pretty happy, by the way, too. They're just perfectly quiet back there. I think the bison probably, well, it's a beheaded bison. I'm not sure that makes them feel comfortable. Maybe that makes them behave, though, right? Something like that. Let's see one of their brethren like that. Anyway, we'll touch base. We'll see you soon. So this is a cool stretch of road here. We got these tunnels that are just carved out of the rock and just really rough on the inside. A bunch of them here. And then there's a viewpoint coming up right ahead. So it's kind of a fun little drive up here. I wasn't expecting this. The scenery in this state is really cool. I mean, that's for sure. I have no idea what this is called. Oops, there's the waypoint. Did I miss it? No, we didn't miss it. We're going back up to it. Can't miss it. So we'll pull forward here and back up and scoop this one up and check it out. All right, a little bit of adjustment. Now we're here. Let's see what we got. Boyson State Park. I have never heard of this place before. Looks pretty cool, though. We got a little train running through there. I mean, it's basically just a highway just carved out of these caverns and rock and stuff. Very cool. What they're doing over there with the front end loader. But you got river here and everything. Nice. This is a good Vista point. This might be my second favorite one in Wyoming. I like the Devil's Tower one. That was good. I like the uh, the Hell's Half Acre one. That was good too. This one's cool. A lot going on. It's better than some of the ones. Some of them seem they're not really kind of much of a Vista point. You know, they're just a, a little dam here too. They're not much of a Vista point. They're just kind of a city or something like that, which is kind of like it's a Vista point lacking a Vista. But this one's really good. They did a really good job with Wyoming. This is such a cool state. I really like it. And I think we might be good here. Train tracks, the wooden train bridge over the river. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, this is kind of what I would think Wyoming is, right? I heard that ching ching of cash. So we probably paid our loan. I think it's about noontime now on Monday. And speaking of money, <laughs> that whole idea, we're going to save up money to buy our third truck, right? We had $60,000, we were well on our way. Yeah, we just paid our loan. We are well on our way. And then I just blew $26,000 on this Buffalo paint job, $150 on the bison thing. And then another, I think the chassis upgrade was another 20 something or 12 or something. So we went from 60,000, we had to pay the loan, which was over 5,000. So we went from 60,000 back down to 16,000 in like five minutes. So. Yeah, we'll start saving up for that truck again. I don't think we'll need to paint the truck again for a little bit. We'll keep the bison on it for, until, we'll keep the bison until we get our third truck. That's it, I'm not changing the paint job until we get the new truck. And the only upgrades we'll get going forward now until we get that new truck, kind of critical like engine power ones, whatever comes up at level 14 and 15 that are for kind of increasing the, the functionality of the truck, but we're not gonna buy any chrome or anything like that until we get our third truck. So there we go, we're gonna stay disciplined with our finances. I'm a master at like saying I'm not going to buy stuff and then not buying stuff. So another little scenery town here. Going a little fast through it, but Thermopolis. We're in Greece. What the heck? Very cool. Okay, so we'll keep chugging along here. I've been babbling enough. We'll see you in a little bit. Going through some really cool scenery again here, so I thought I'd kind of uh, record a little bit here as we're going through this. It's pretty cool. Oh, it was cool. Now it's flattened out. Nice little canyon in there. So that was kind of fun. We've got about uh, two hours left, I think, in our delivery. And one more Vista Point to check out. Entering Bighorn National Forest, which is cool. One of the things I was looking at, though, I was poking around on the internets, and I found a page about the game where it's talking about Easter eggs. And I'll tell you, the reason I was looking for it is that I was poking about on Twitter this morning, and someone posted a screenshot of a UFO in the game. And I said, wait a second, there's no UFO, like a UFO in the sky. And that made me curious. It's like, wait a second, there can't be, I, that's not a thing, is it? And it turns out it was this guy's brother who's making a mod to put UFOs in the map, which is pretty cool in the game. So I de we'll definitely have to get that mod and check it out when it's ready. He said he has kind of, I think a, a version that works right now, but he's still working on some of the lighting. So. I think we're gonna wait until it's ready for download so that everybody can get it. Where is this checkpoint? Hang on one sec, I just wanna check the map here real quick. 
because uh oh yeah okay it's still ahead good i thought we might have missed our vista point usually you get a ding and it warns you when it when it comes within range but i didn't see that but it felt like that was the right spot but it's not it's coming up ahead so but yeah so i was looking for that but in the course of looking and failing to find this ufo mod which isn't available yet and not an official easter egg in the game of course i did find this whole page that had tons of easter eggs like movie references and TV show references and stuff like that that are these little out-of-the-way places in the game. So I think we're definitely going to have to have an episode where we explore some of those. I didn't even know they existed, but like a camper that references like Breaking Bad with like blue smoke coming out of it, a hotel that references the movie Psycho and stuff like that. So we're going to definitely have to kind of explore and try to find some of those. So I'll spend some more time on that webpage for upcoming episodes, but so many little things to do in the game. So... Anyway, we'll uh, keep plugging along. We'll see you once we get close to this Vista Point. All right, here we are. Vista Point number seven in Wyoming. And I think the remaining three aren't in the state. They're down by um, Idaho and Utah, maybe. So we'll have to check those out as we get close to them. Let's we'll make a U-turn in here. Oh, this is a loop. Huh, okay. Interesting. Let's check it out. What do we got? 7 out of 10, Bighorn National Forest. Okay, very cool. We might not watch the whole thing here. Some of these aren't the, the most compelling. They go on for quite a while, but let's check it out at first. And we are yawning, so I think we do need to kind of get on the road here. Still, pretty nice vista point here. I've never been to Bighorn National Forest. This kind of makes me want to go. I'm not seeing much forest, though. I'm seeing a lot of... Places that maybe had, there we go, there's some trees. Well, very cool. We'll check out the rest of this uh, for a moment here and then we'll see you as we get closer to our destination. We'll get the truck here turned around and we'll, uh, we'll check in as we get closer to Sheridan. So we uh, just left the National Forest here. We've got about an hour left to go, but we need to sleep. We are in the red zone again. I thought we had enough time. We had like two hours more, but apparently Stopping at the Vista points and driving slow, get stuck behind the slow traffic and like this slow truck now is, has really slowed us down. Fortunately, there is a place to sleep up ahead, so I think we might get there after. I'm guessing we're gonna get that a second sleep violation here because it's the closest one we can get to. And this truck is in front of us is overloaded and we're not making good time. So we'll, uh, hopefully we can get there on time. But might get some more penalties here, which would take away the perfect delivery, which I'm not sure it matters, but if it were important, and this did qualify as a livestock delivery, that would blow it for us. Yep, they keep reminding us, and we keep yawning, and things are going dark now, but hopefully we won't pass out and die. We're just making a place to sleep right here. To us, E, there we go. And sleepy time. No fine, I think we made it. Excellent, okay, let's finish this delivery. We'll see you as we get closer to the parking. Jana K picks up some money for us, nice. All right, so here we are at Bushnell, I think here, Turn here, yep, looks like it. This is Bushnell products. And I think this is where we have to pick up the live cattle to count for the achievement and that this one doesn't count, but We'll check that out in our next episode after we get this picked up, after we get this dropped off. But kind of curious to see what kind of parking challenge we get. Won't be impossible, right? Because it's won't be the hopefully won't be the fiasco that we had last time, which was just a mess. <laughs> but this is just a straight up parking. Could be 90, but let's give it a shot here. Yep, 90. Now, I don't think we've parked here before. Okay, that looks like pretty straightforward. But I'm sure it's going to be dropping it. It's over there to our right. Let's go check it out and see what it entails. Okay. It's a tough turn there. Oh, look at the horse over there. That's pretty cool. Just straight in here. This looks fairly easy to me. Like, not even close to a 90. Like, I think good and angled right at it right now, right? can just back it up out the window. So let's check it out here, see if we can get this in on the first shot, maybe? All righty. Put it right in down. 
pretty good. Almost time to straighten it out. Right now, a little bit crooked. There, now straighten her up. Go over to the other side. Should be able to do the rest facing forward. Get that adjusted. Straighten the side out. This doesn't feel like a 90 at all. This was pretty easy, I think. It's going to give it to us. Yeah, there it is. Maybe that was under a minute, huh? Pretty cool. Anyway, we are here. We've delivered our livestock right at sunrise to Bushnell. Let's uh, cash this one in. So I think we spent 40,000 and we made six. <laughs> so going backwards, but... Oh no, look. Yeah, that was it, Buffalo Bill. So that information I saw on the internets was wrong because that was a perfect delivery to this Bushnell place with live cattle. And it gave us the first of 10 cattle deliveries that we would need. So apparently it's just taking live cattle to these Bushnell facilities, maybe not from. I'm confused if there's other elements to it, but anyway, that's one out of 10. So we did a cattle delivery. We got our bison. We got our paint job. We upgraded our chassis. We checked out two Vista points. We made how much money here? Almost 8,000. And we got about a quarter of the way towards level 14. I like our new truck with the bison on it. It's very, very Western, isn't it? Anyway, that brings us to the end today. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I think rather than grind through a bunch of episodes doing live cattle delivery, I think we might try to head down to Cheyenne next time and do some of those rail deliveries. Or if I can find a Volvo, the new Volvo DLC delivery, that'd be kind of fun to do too. If you know where we might be able to get some of that in Wyoming, that would be cool too. But uh, please let me know in the comments if you have an idea. And I'll, I'll check too, but I'm going to my nose offhand. That would be great. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of the weekend. We'll see you again on our next episode.